The one thing that came to mind while wearing this one is Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here today. I wanna to do a little re-review on this. Dolce & Gabbana's The One EDP. Now, I know that they've come out with several versions of The One since then. I think they might even have a stronger version of this one, I'm not sure. Just for all you batch code junkies out there, this one is a 6243. So I don't know how old it is, it's probably a few years old, but still smells great and hopefully they haven't changed up the formula too much. So Dolce & Gabbana is the one has just always been kind of one of my favorite designer scents. I think if you were to talk to people about the top five, top 10, most likable, most easy to wear designer scents, the one is just one that's often brought up, especially the one EDP, things like that. I actually really did like Royal Knight. I actually might have to try against this one again. I was just kind of in like a fuck it phase and wanted to wear just my best stuff and I didn't really want to care about saving it for like another review or this and that. I just kind of wanted to spray it up so that's why we're here with Dolce & Gabbana's The One. So I will probably put the notes on screen. I think most people know what Dolce & Gabbana's The One smells like. Um, to be honest, the main thing that I just keep smelling within this fragrance is that orange note. I think maybe all versions of the one have that orange note, but it's definitely cranked up a lot in here. And to be honest, that's just like the main thing that I smell. I smell orange and then like a sophisticated, nice, slightly sweet, spicy kind of musk type fragrance. It just smells very, very good. The one thing that came to mind while wearing this one is that I wanted it to have a bigger projection. And this is technically, like I would say, kind of like a date night scent. And one time a while ago, I did wear this on a date. And I don't know if it was just the person, but I just really kind of wish I didn't wear it. I just feel like it just didn't fit the situation. And everybody says, oh, it's a date night fragrance. And oh, it does smell like it would fit the date night. This one is kind of one that I'd maybe want to save for a more of an intimate situation, or you know, maybe even like a classroom where there's not a lot of extra smells and you're in a confined area. I live in Southern California and I don't know if it's just here, but we get tons and tons and tons of wind. And on top of that, I mean, there's just so many people out, you know, people are cooking burgers. You're just getting all these mixes of smells, lots of wind everywhere. So. I just kind of felt that I just really wasn't getting smelled while I was wearing this, although it does smell good. And like I said, more indoor situations, it would be good. But at the same time, it doesn't really last that long. So you'd have to spray it up and then go right indoors. I think a lot of people have had a problem with this one for a while with the projection, but I forget the name of it. I'll try to put it on screen, but I just reviewed two central obsessions and one of them reminded me just of a classic sweet spicy niche you know didn't really do anything extra but it was a sweet spicy niche it's hard for me not to want to wear that one more than this one just because of how much more it's noticeable how much more it's there especially with the wind you know what i mean and again i don't know i haven't really wasn't really asking people hey do you smell me do you not smell me but it was just the general vibe that it was very very light although i really do like this fragrance and maybe like an intimate situation with your partner things like that it would be a little bit better and then there would be a little bit more to appreciate but um just generally especially with me and all the smells and all the winds going out there i just need something with a little bit more projection than this although i really do like it i really do respect it it is one of the best and designers kind of have this issue you know most of the time it's very common for a designer to have, you know, smell pretty good, but just not project that long. It's not really a new thing. I don't really want to hold it against this one. I did enjoy this one for what it was. I just, for me, I need a little bit more projection. And I know everybody has smelled this, so they probably don't care about their rating. They already have their own rating because they've smelled it. But mm, like, I want to give this like an eight to an 8.5 for smell. I probably would give it that, but just the projection is so much lower. Like it's almost like a six or a 6.5. So it really just does hold it back. And then overall, it's very likable. You know, I used to do those ratings. So anyways, guys, Dolce & Gabbana is the one EDP. I have really enjoyed re-wearing it. I'm actually thinking about, um, you know, re-wearing the Vintage Fierce again for seven days because I actually sprayed Vintage Fierce. And I don't know if you guys have seen in my other videos, I'm kind of going on a fierce rant here on, on, the, on a Dolce & Gabbana video, but I sprayed my old Vintage Fierce and I absolutely love the smell. And I don't know if you guys have seen my review, but the old Vintage Bottles of Fierce, there's almost like a little bit of a weird vibe in there and when I resprayed fierce several times I'm like wow this smells perfect I don't smell any of that weird vibe so it might be another time to do a full week of vintage fierce like I did a like a few years ago it was a popular video be interested to see what it smells like nowadays but anyways Dolce & Gabbana is the one EDP 
Not to get sidetracked on fear, I really, really enjoyed it. Just wish it projected a little longer. Be very interested to see what you think about it. Is there any other versions of Dolce & Gabbana, the one that I should check out? And another one is that I smell Dolce & Gabbana's the one King or KEDP, and that smelled a lot like Hollister SoCal. And I love Hollister SoCal, but the only problem I have with it is that it projected so low but K or King EDP projected way higher. So I might have to check that one out as well. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.